So this is how I remember and understand tautomerization. So we have a ketone and he's essentially an electrophile with electrophilic carbon. You can think of electrophiles as a wide receiver on a football team. They essentially receive electrons from nucleophiles such as hydroxide. The nucleophiles can be like the quarterback of a football team as they're throwing their electrons to their wide receivers. However, you're going to find yourself having two electrophiles or wide receivers in a chemical reaction. Both are wide receivers and they can throw electrons to each other. So what do you do? You can make the electron, electrophile into a nucleophile. In other words, you can make the wide receiver into a quarterback. To do this, you can have the oxygen take an hydrogen from his, one of its carbon arms and have that carbon, which just lost its hydrogen, transfer its electrons to its own arm. Now you have a double bond at its arm. With this, you have officially became a quarterback. What do quarterbacks on most football teams need? They need a strong arm. So you can think of this double bond to this compound as a way of having a stronger arm. By the way, this compound is now an enol. Now as a quarterback, you can throw your electrons to his wide receivers, such as acid chloride. Of course, in tautomerization, it can again transform itself to a wide receiver when needed. This transformation between quarterback to wide receiver or wide receiver to quarterback is tautomerization.